All right, I can finally say it. It's out. The game I've been working on for the last years, it's finally out. You have no idea, guys, how exciting it is. You know, like development times from games are actually very long and it's so hard to sometimes keep the secret to yourself. But the game finally released yesterday and I've been working on it as a level designer and I could not be any more excited about it. RKGK was first unveiled during the Triple I initiative and to be honest, I was over the moon when it was. Why? Because, well, it was sort of a big event, but it was also unveiled with a lot of IPs that I adore, such as Prince of Persia, with, where they unveiled the rogue Prince of Persia. And I also adore Cat Quest. You guys don't know about it, but I'm a huge Cat Quest fan. I played both Cat Quests before, so when they just unveiled Cat Quest <laughs> very close to RKGK, I was like, no way! <laughs> I was really happy about it. So what is RKGK? RKGK, or it's pronounced as Rakugaki, is a 3D action platformer. You play as Vala, who is this girl that wants pretty much to save the city. The city has been brainwashed and she wants to save the city through graffiti and all of that. You can, you can take a look at the trailer if you're really into it. I hope you guys like it, but yeah, it's a 3D action platformer that is all about uh, keeping your flow, keeping your speed. And yeah, I mean, it's not a Sonic game. Sonic games are very different. It's a little bit as if uh, Jet Set Radio or Bomb Rush Cyber Funk uh, were placed in linear levels. If you are into Jet Set Radio, I'm pretty sure you, you might actually like it. Also, if you like Bomb Rush Cyber Funk, you might actually like it. And yes, it is about graffiti, just as Bomb Rush and Jet Set Radio both of them were huge inspirations right like if you take a look at my video like a few months back that was about bomb rush but some things that maybe i didn't like about bomb rush well it was because i was studying bomb rush cyberpunk as a level designer it doesn't mean everyone in the production was it was me as a level designer understanding and learning about bomb rush cyberpunk now me saying something about bomb rush cyberpunk doesn't mean it's a bad game by any means the fact that i was actually using bomb rush cyberpunk should tell you that i believe believe bomb rush cyberpunk is somewhat of a masterpiece right so don't take that video as oh yeah my game is better than bomb rush because I learned a lot about them. And it's something that designers tend to do a lot of the time, like all the time. It has the heart and soul of everyone on the team, including mine. I hope you like it. I worked on, on a lot of levels actually from start to finish that are completely like my layouts. And yeah, like I, I did pretty much the entire path and some of them I just polished. And there was there were a few of them that I reworked. It has a lot of my work, so if you guys have been enjoying the channel, and if you guys really want to get it to see like my work, I would love for you to try this out and let me know your opinion, like if you liked it, if you didn't like it. It's all a part of the process. Um, yeah, and some of the levels I actually worked on are actually the very first level, which is called Urban Rampart. This level is somewhat of a tutorial, right? You learn basic skills such as moving, as jumping, right? There's an ability we call surf where you spray paint on the on the floor and you start like pretty much surfing as if it was somewhat of water i also worked on capital square which is also a level in the first district or in the first world right this level is where you start like getting the grasp of how the flow of the game is it's a very fast level it's all about speed and flow and i also hope you guys like it i also worked on the first boss fight of the game i planned the first bo boss fight i documented it and did some balancing to it and yeah like this one is mr buff it's actually your first encounter with the main villain of the game and there were a lot a lot of levels i can include a list uh right in the description if you really want to know which levels i worked on which levels i polished i reworked on i'll let you guys know in the description but yeah those are some of the levels i did work on it's a lot of the first world if you guys are really interested please please dive into it now what did i do as a level designer as a level designer, I was not involved in anything regarding set dressing. I didn't do any art, right? So as a level designer, what I did is like make some documentation to help me gather my ideas on how I wanted a level uh, to be laid out, pace of the level, what kind of challenges it was going to have. Right after some documentation, then I started laying out the blocks of the level. Uh, this process is called gray boxing. Uh, we have a very in-depth video about the level design process, like a general level design process that the industry sort of follows. Now in the industry, nothing is standardized, not the process of, of designers. There's no process that is standardized, right? So 
we kind of wanted to give a broad idea of what level designer actually is so if you guys want to watch that video i definitely suggest you do i laid the levels as gray boxing i scripted the level behavior it was sent to the art team they set dressed it they did amazing set dressing right like it's so attractive the game is so attractive to the eyes that and i'm not trying to sell it to you guys but it's true the game looks beautiful then i got the level back after some testing i polished it and polished it till the very end that for that happened for each level and you know guys this game taught me a lot and there were also a lot of a lot of games that actually taught me a lot during this process one of them was definitely bomber cyberpunk i saw a lot of comments in videos that were like oh yeah we were copying bomber cyberpunk's homework and that's not true i mean bomber cyberpunk pretty much released uh, by the end of last year i think it was september by that point we were just polishing the game we were not really doing uh, a lot of a lot of concepting right there were a lot of years behind during the production of the game that yeah but that doesn't mean that i did not learn things about bomber cyberpunk that i could include in my polish passes right bomber cyberpunk is a masterpiece again and i definitely suggest you guys try it i also learned a lot about mario right there is like i referenced it a lot crash bandicoot uh a lot of 3d platformers actually were great in the process of, of making my levels all right including bomber cyberpunk I definitely suggest you go watch the video that is called From Grey Boxing to Set Pressing if you want to get a, like, a little bit more in-depth information on what a level designer does. Yeah, after the levels were done, I also had to establish actually the, the speedrun time for my levels. That was actually pretty cool because that means that I have the world record as of now, guys, which I hope you build, <laughs> you you completely destroy my, my records in like, I don't know, a week, probably. I really want to see you guys get better in the game than I am. Speedrunners will definitely do. I mean, this, this game is built a lot for speedrunners. We were all thinking about speedrunners at all times. I was doing so as well because I love speedrunning. I love games done quick. I tend to watch games done quick like all the time and when i was working i was i also had like a lot of speed runners on twitch like right on my second monitor right so speed running is part of the heart of this project so i definitely want to see you guys destroy my levels i would love to see that it couldn't get me any more excited about it uh, i i'd love to see the speedrun community grow for this game and everyone on the team wants that too it has all of our hearts and souls put into this i want speedrunners really to wreck my levels <laughs> I really want to see that. I really want to feel that moment where I was like, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> and yeah, most of all, guys, I really want everyone to enjoy this game. Really, that's all I want. If you like speedrunning, this is for you. If you're not into speedrunning, this is as well for you because it was like we tried to balance that a lot, right? We know not, that not everyone has the skill of a speedrunner. So we wanted that everyone could was able to enjoy this game. All right, let me know, know what you guys think. If you have any questions about the game, let me know in the comment section. I'll be I'll more than gladly if I can talk about them. I'll, I'll definitely will. Yeah, if you want to know a little bit more about my process while creating levels, I'll more than gladly talk about it. Yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed the video game. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if anyone in the speedrun community wants to get in touch with me for anything regarding the speedrun or speedrun Te techniques that i know about the game i will more than gladly talk about it and lean into the speedrunning community i'm more than excited for that i definitely want to see that guys please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one thank you so much for watching and i hope you like the video game sorry for my excitement i just can't contain it thank you so much guys see ya